Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show things to do after installing Kali Linux in your system. So let's start. As we know, Kali Linux is an advanced penetration testing Linux distribution used for penetration testing, ethical hacking, and network security assessments. So the first thing is check your repository file. And file path is slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list. Here you have to enable the additional line for source packages. You can edit the file in your favorite text editor. The second thing is to update and upgrade your Kali Linux. So sudo apt update command is for updating your Kali Linux. And sudo apt full upgrade y command for upgrading your Kali Linux and its all tools. Third thing is to set the root password. Or you can say enable the root user. Click on the i button if you want to learn how to enable or disable the root user in Kali Linux. You have to follow all the steps. In the description below I will give a link. Where you can see all the commands. Now, here you can see. I am login as root in the terminal. This is the command in Linux if you want to change the password. Password and username. And then enter the password. Password is invisible, just type the password and hit enter. And your password is successfully updated. Now you can log in as a root in the Kali Linux. Fourth thing is to install a Linux terminal multiplexer. You have many options out there. But my choice is Terminator. Terminator is an open source emulator which provides you with functionalities like split horizontally, split vertically, etc., as one wants in a single window. Not only does it provide split horizontally or vertically, but also one can give a custom title to each and every terminal and several other features such as multi-grid-like structure, layout savings, etc. You can install the terminator using sudo apt install terminator y command. You can add the terminator to the launcher. You have to follow the steps. Here in the launcher already three terminal added. You have to click on the plus sign and search the terminator. Now arrange the terminal according to your need. Now open the terminator. This is the first default look of Terminator in Kali Linux. And you can easily customize the Terminator as you want. Just right click on the Terminator and then click on Preference. Here in the profile, you can change the font style, font size, as well as color. You can also change the background if you want to change it. You can do many changes here as you want. And here you can see the Terminator split the screen. You can split one window into many of them. And simply close then by typing exit command. You have to try this terminal. The next thing is customizing your terminal. Now ZSH is the default shell in Kali Linux. If you want to customize the ZSH theme, you have to install the oh my ZSH. It is a delightful, open source, community-driven framework for managing your ZSH. I will give the article link in the description below you can visit this article. You have to install the oh my ZSH. And your terminal looks like mine. So this command installs the oh my ZSH in Kali Linux. Now you can see my terminal prompt has been changed. Now you can install the plugins for your ZSH like auto-suggestion and syntax highlighting after installing the themes and plugins. We have to edit the zsh config file. So this is the path of the zsh config file. Here in this file, we have to edit the theme name. And in the plugins, we have to write down the name of the plugin and then save the file. Close the terminal and open it again. And this time you can see the changes. Now I am updating my Kali. And here you can see the syntax is also highlighted. Now next and the last thing is installing the Tor browser. Yes, if you want your security. Tor is known as the Onion Router. It is a completely free, 
open source browser that helps you surf the internet anonymously. It erases your browsing history automatically with every session, and it keeps all your traffic encrypted. You can install the Tor browser by typing the single command sudo apt install tor tor browser launcher y in the terminal. After installing the Tor browser, you can search Tor in the menu and open the Tor browser. First time Tor browser downloads the Tor browser's files and dependencies. After downloading the files, you have to connect the Tor browser with the Tor network. So check this box always connect automatically and click on connect. So this is the Tor browser in the Kali Linux. I am going to show how to verify that you are connected through Tor network or not. So you can visit this site check.torproject.org to verify that you are connected through Tor or not. So that is it. These are the things to do after installing Kali Linux in your system. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel. So you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next video.